Today we will see how to create an animation like this using X particles in Cinema 4D. Let's start by adding a plane object. We'll set the both width and height to 2000 centimeters and we will add roughly width segment of 30 each. Post that, we will add a displacer. Let's make it a child of the plane. Now let's go to shading tab. Under shader, we'll go to noise. Click on the noise and let's set the global scale to roughly about 2000. Let's go back up, click on the object tab and make the height segment to around 200 centimeters. Now we will add a subdivision surface, make plain child for subdivision surface. And now let's readjust the camera to based on how we want to set up the scene. Let's go to Encedium and add an XP particle system. Let's select XP emitter and we will shift the emitter based on the position that we feel the whole action will take place. So I think this is fine. We'll put it here somewhere here around here. Uh, let's change the orientation. We'll make it to Y plus and as well as the H and V angle uh, rotated to 90. Once you do that, uh, you will find that emitters particles are spreading across the entire area now we want it to follow a surface uh, but before that let's adjust the emission a bit we don't want it to be for the entire frame so we just limit it to first 30 frames and then we reduce the birth rate to let's say about 100 let's hit play and see but before that let's add a quick modifier we are going to add a follow surface modifier here and let's drag the subdivision surface into the objects panel and set a distance to 100. Uh, when you do this, uh, it ensures the particles are following the surface. If the distance value is low, you will see the particles are flying up in the air. We will now adjust the total frame length to 120 frames. So it's a four second animation. Let's go to generators and add an XP trail object. Once done that, let's drag the emitter into the emitter settings of the XP trail. And let's hit play to see how it looks. We have a slow playback here, but with the current settings, it should be fine and you will see something looking like this. What we can do next is uh, we can just go and add probably subset of branches uh, that will be under the mo uh, modifier setting. So let's go to modifiers and let's go to generate and add an XP branch system. Let's add a sub branch system and we will leave everything at the default setting. Uh, this will definitely give us a more set of uh, branch. Uh, what we will also do is probably add a turbulence modifier just to give it a little more random natural feel so we'll add an xp turbulence and we'll leave everything again at a default setting for the turbulence as well once done that let's run a quick simulation and see how it looks uh, that's how it's looking right now which seems fine to me uh, and it's looking probably good Let's go back and add a sky object. We are adding a Cycles 4D sky setting. Um, I'm going to sky tab and probably will make adjustments just to give it a little more uh, dark look and feel. Let's open up uh, Cycles 4D real time preview. So it will also give us of how our settings are looking like as we keep making changes to our sky object. Feel free to play with the settings and based on what you are trying to achieve, uh, you can go and render based on that. Uh, I think I'm fine with these settings. Uh, I'm going for a little darker look. So let's done. Uh, done with that, I'm going into the settings, which is the render settings. And in render settings, I'll ensure based on your GPU, you can use CUDA. Uh, I'm using CUDA GPU and I will make the GPU tiles 256 
and I will also turn on adaptive sampling uh, which is under the integrator and sampling option um, I am gonna put a minimum sample size of four uh, two and maybe a sample size of maximum six I'm gonna leave the adaptive setting to zero so that will uh, be decided by C4D let's add a cinema 4d principal hair shader to our trails object you can modify the colors based on whatever you like uh, i'm just gonna make slight changes to the color of the trail object uh, let's go to rgb or uh, x value let's give it a kind of a shiny green uh, that being done we will add a glossy cinema 4d surface material to our grain object and we will reduce the colors to let's say somewhere a little bit on the darker side of grayish black and post that we'll just go ahead and render everything out and that's our final output don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another video